for the last 15 years and control diabetes. <coughs> I want somebody of you examine the autonomic nervous system in this patient. Anybody? Okay. Anybody? Autonomic nervous system. This is a question. I'm not done. Diabetes affect neurology in this way. Peripheral neuropathy. Understand? Peripheral neuropathy usually involving the lower limb, sometimes the upper limbs. It 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 appear if the patient got diabetes and control for 15 years and more. Usually, it, it means that the patient is uncontrol his condition, diabetes, usually is a progressive, not, not responding to any treatment, is going on, process. This is the first neurological, neurological complication of diabetes. The second, amyotrophic lateral wasting of this muscle, proximal muscle, and the patient, he cannot get up from sitting and resting of the muscle in the thigh. The third one affected is a, a, a cranial nerve being affected. Any cranial nerve can be affected by the diabetes, usually the third, the sixth. Reflexes sometimes be lost by diabetes. And the other one is the, the autonomic nervous system. Examination of the autonomic nervous system, you should ask your patient many questions. Which question we should ask the patient? First of all, we ask our patient, do you get do you get dizzy while you are from sitting position on standing? The guide will go do yes, he says yes. he got dizzy from sitting position when he got standing. Therefore, this patient got what? Postural hypotension. Postural hypotension. That's first. Okay? Tell me about sweating in your face. Is it more or less in the hot weather in Iraq? Yes. Less? Yes. Less sweating. Okay? Yes. Third question. Do you have running heart? It, it means tachycardia. Do you have running heart? Yes. Yes, usually those with autonomic nervous system, they do get what? A running heart, a tachycardia, what they call trust in tachycardia. The other question, do you get diarrhea? Have you got diarrhea? Expulsive diarrhea sometimes. <coughs> usually constipation in nearly 50% and diarrhea in 50%. Expulsive diarrhea at night, sometimes he cannot reach the toilet. I mean, defecating on himself. This is typical of autonomic nervous system diseases in diabetes. Other one, do you get impotence? Still, 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 he is, still is not being affected, still working because probably he's young. And uh, those people, they get usually impotence, failure the of ejaculation. The other one, do you get bladder, bladder urgency, difficulty? I mean, urinate, small urine, etc. Yes, sometimes they do get bladder. After you finish this question, the other question, do you get edema in your, in your food? Usually, dependent edema in diabetes or the autonomic nervous system disease, dependent edema on both feet, on both feet. Okay, now, what we are, how we examine the autonomic nervous system? The most difficult question in neurology is this. How we examine the autonomic nervous system? Unexpected question. Yeah. Nobody will, will explain it, I mean, in usual teaching. First of all, we, we, we take the, the pulse and we count the pulse. It's usually tachycardia. The second, second, we measure the blood pressure. Sitting and, and usually those blood pressure is high. Diabetic usually associated with high blood pressure. In normal blood pressure in diabetes usually 120 and less systole and 80 and less diastole. If it is more than this, it is hypertension, hypertension considered in diabetes. 
we measure the, the, the blood pressure while he is sitting or sleeping or lying and we measure it while he's standing we will find what postural, postural hypotension <laughs> okay postural hypotension how we define postural hypotension <coughs> it is a drop in systole more than 20 millimeter on standing okay yeah. that's postural hypotension the, the third examination in this patient we ask the patient to look to that refrigerator and we just look to the refrigerator we measure the pulse and we try to frighten our patient by noise or sudden noise etc usually examine the pulse with it yes while we examine the pulse we frighten our patient with just like this usually there is no reflex tachycardia in diabetes usually there is reflex tachycardia in you normal the other one test is testing of ankle edema you know the test of ankle edema by what they call it test test of three one first of all one finger secondly one inch above what the internal malleolus thirdly we we press it for one minute three no. one test ankle edema usually it happen in diabetes of the autonomic nervous system the other one we examine the fundi of this patient the pupil we found the probably we find what they call it argyle robinson pupil in diabetes what is argyle robinson pupil the fix uh, yeah not like to be that it is usually uh, to, uh, the, direct, uh, eye. Not, uh, the pupil is what? Dilated? Uh, dilated yes. yes, usually dilated, not well circum circumscribed. Irregular. Uh, it, it's irregular uh, and it, it, it accommodates and it doesn't react to, to light. light. Just like what? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just like what? I mean, I, I, you will remember it if you remember the pitches. Syphilis. The prost. The no, prost. Syphilis. It accommodates but doesn't react. Okay? Therefore, Argar Robinson Bugle, it accommodates. Accommodation is what? Positive. While light reflex is what? Negative. Have you got a torch? And this is the way to examine the light reflex from behind the ear and we bring the light down to the to the eye while accommodation is just like this if one asks you if one if suppose this patient this patient has got no argyle opposite pupil but if in the exam they show you arg argyle opposite pupil and they and you find it is not reacting to light and it reacts to, uh, to accommodation. But the examiner said, look, it also reacts to light, light in this yeah, way. Yeah, what are you saying? In, in this way, examining the light reflex, it, it doesn't react. But in this way, Only it accommodation, reacts. this, for accommodation. This is accommodation, whether you, you put it, the light on or off. This is accommodation. Front is accommodation. Therefore, this eye is while you put the, the light on is accommodating, not light. Light reflexes from behind the ear yes. up to, to the eye. Okay. The, the, other, the other test is what, what they call it Valsalva maneuver. Valsalva maneuver. We ask the patient to hold, to take a deep okay. breath, just like this, and hold it just like this. So in the eye. In the, okay, the least. First of all, before we start in the Valsalva, we measure the systole of this patient. Okay? And we keep the hand on what? On the pulse. Suppose the systole is 140. And we ask this diabetic patient with autonomic nervous system to do the Valsalva. Normally, <coughs> normally 
if you are normal and doing valsalva, your systole is dropping down slightly, few few millimeter, and you get what? Take. You get what on release? On releasing the, the, the tension, the blood pressure you get rebound but, increase yeah. of blood pressure more than 140. And with reflex what? Bradycardia. Bradycardia, yes, no. Okay? In diabetes, first of all, if you do Valsalva, you get what? Severe hypotension. Okay. It might cause shock in this patient. But there is no reflex high blood pressure and no reflex bradycardia. I will repeat. Yes. In diabetes with autonomic nervous system, valsalva it might be sometimes dangerous because it might cause what? Blood pressure reaching to zero. Drop suddenly of blood pressure and when you release, after 10 minutes you release the pressure from your lung, you get no bradycardia, no what? No reflex shooting, overshooting of blood pressure. Okay.